This is part 31 of WCF video series. In this video, we'll discuss hosting WCF service in IIS 7 and enabling Windows Activation Service to support non-HTTP protocols like TCP. This is continuation to part 30, so please watch part 30 before proceeding. By default, IIS supports only HTTP protocol. If you recollect from the previous session, we have hosted this hello service in IIS. If you look at the web.config file, notice that at the moment we are using basic HTTP binding. This means that the underlying protocol for communication is HTTP. Now let's try and use net TCP binding instead of basic HTTP binding and see what's going to happen. So here we are using net TCP binding, meaning the underlying protocol is going to be TCP protocol. And let's see what's going to happen. Since we have specified the binding as net TCP binding, we need to add another base address to support TCP protocol. So let's um, change this HTTP to net.tcp and let's change the port number to 8090. All right, with this change, uh, let's save the changes and let's open IIS. So within the run window type inetmgr and click OK. This should open up the Internet Information Services and here we already have uh, an application. So hello service. Right click on hello service and select switch to content view and that should display the content or, you know, of the physical directory to which this virtual directory is pointing to. So here we have hello service.spc. Right click on that and browse to it. And notice that we get an error. Okay, that's basically because by default IS supports only HTTP protocol. If you want to use non-HTTP protocols like TCP, we need to install Windows Communication Foundation non-HTTP activation component and WAS component. WAS stands for Windows Process Activation Service. WAS is supported on these platforms with IIS 7 and above versions. So it's supported on Windows Vista, Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008. Now, if you want to find out which version of IIS you have on your machine, simply within IIS, click Help menu item and then select this option about Internet Information Services and that should display there the version of IIS you have. At the moment on my machine, the version is 7.5. All right. Now, to support non-HTTP protocols in IIS, we need to do two things. That is, the first one is to install WAS. Uh, and Windows Communication Foundation non-HTTP activation components. And then we also need to enable non-HTTP protocol support in IIS for our application. Okay, let's go ahead and look at these steps in detail now. So, step here are the steps to install, you know, WAS component and Windows Communication Foundation non-HTTP activation component. So basically we need to go to control panel and to get to control panel within the run window type control. So that should open up the control panel and here you should find programs and features. Click on that link and then click on this link, turn Windows features on or off. So this should bring up, um, you know, the Windows features window. This is going to take, um, you know, a few seconds to load all the pro, uh, all Windows features. Okay, so if you scroll down, notice that I already have Windows Process Activation Service already installed and under .NET Framework 3.5.1, notice that Windows Communication Foundation non-HTTP activation component. This is what we need to install. So select that and click OK. So this is going to take several minutes to install. So let me pause the video at this point. So WCF non-HTTP activation component is now successfully installed. So let's click OK. And the second step is to enable, you know, the non-HTTP protocols support for the application. And to do that, you know, simply go to IIS and within IIS, this is our application uh, directory. So right click on that and then select Manage Application Advanced Settings. And here notice that enabled protocols at the moment, it's only HTTP. So let's also say we want support for net.tcp protocol so put in there if you want to have the support for another um, other protocols just specify them with 
uh, you know a comma separated list so let's click OK and at this point you know we should be able to use TCP protocol so let's actually go to IIS and browse the service file and see what's going to happen and look at that it works as expected okay now let's go to the client application so here we have the client application and if you look at the configuration file of the client application notice that at the moment the client application is still using basic HTTP binding so we need to update the service reference okay so let's go ahead and do that right now so update service reference so this should change the binding now to net TCP binding okay so notice that at the moment it's using net TCP binding so let's go ahead and test our uh, WCF service and see if it supports non HTTP protocols that is TCP that's what we have specified okay so let's say test as the name click get message and it should work now now look at this we have an exception and if you look at the exception let's actually press F5 and see what is the exception so if you get this exception you know then run this command okay so if you get this error you know run visual studio command prompt as an administrator and execute this command if you get this error that's what we are getting at the moment then execute this command service model registration hyphen r so what is this going to do it's going to repair the service model registration uh, in case if there are any problems so let's go ahead and do that and to speed things up I have already typed that path so let's copy that let's go to visual studio command prompt and then actually I, we are right there so let's execute service model registration tool so service model registration dot exe hyphen r for repair so when we press enter it should you know look at that um, it has you know changed service config to you know everything it says success now let's go ahead um, close this client application that's running let's run the Windows client application one more once more and let's enter test as the name click get message and it should work now look at that hello test and let's say hello test one two three all right so these days most of the companies host their WCF services in IIS with Windows process activation service enabled as it has these advantages that you see here no code required to host the service IIS provides process recycling automatic message based activation idle time management etc and it also supports all transport protocols including the non HTTP protocols like TCP named pipes etc that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.